Hello everyone. Today we're gonna use a clipping or subsetting approach to uh, subset your satellite data. In this example, we use a Sentinel uh, uh, dataset or satellite image to subset to a subdomain or a region of interest. Um, one of the, the, the challenges of using satellite data is um, it comes a, a scene-based, right? Um, a larger area. Um, and you might want to subset it or clip it to specific polygon or study area. Uh, so that's what um, the clipping or subsetting approach um, uh, comes handy. So we're going to, um, in this example, um, we're going to use a raw data, a raw Sentinel satellite data, and then clip it um, by using a region of interest. So we'll be using an example in uh, Paris area, uh, city of Paris in France. So let's get started. All right, let's just um, create a, a code editor on the Earth Engine uh, Cloud API. Uh, if you don't have an account, uh, go ahead and sign up. Uh, but if you have an Earth Engine account, skip this part. Um, so first, let's load our um, um, uh, Sentinel dataset. Um, to, to load Sentinel dataset, you go to uh, the Earth Engine uh, website. and um, go to data set here, data set here, and you go to Sentinel, and then uh, Sentinel2, uh, surface reflectance. So you have the image collection ID here. So that's how you can get the, the image collection on the Earth Engine uh, data catalog. So the first thing is a uh, load um, a Sentinel image. And let's just go ahead and actually copy that here. I'll create a variable called data set. Okay. And then, um, so this is the image collection um, I want to use to do the clipping operation or subsetting operation using my region of interest. So, so I'll first import that, which is the Sentinel um, satellite uh, image collection or an Earth engine. And I'll do a filter bound to subset it to my region of interest first. It's not clipping it, but it'll give us the scene um, overlaying this study area. So it's, it's fairly large um, um, coverage, but it's, it's um, um, you know, some pre-processing before we do the clipping, right? So filter bound. So you need to provide a region of interest. We don't have a region of interest yet, okay? Um, so the other filtering we're gonna do is we'll use the metadata information. Uh, filter metadata. The reason it's not showing purple is we filter metadata. Um, let's see some type or here that's why okay now it's perfect it's working okay so we um so in the sentinel image there are multiple metadata information or properties about that image uh, you know sun angle cloud cover coordinate information data so we're going to use some of one one of that um, property uh, from the metadata uh, which is already provided in in the, in the data product which is cloud cover so uh, we'll say cloud cover coverage assessment. So that's the cloud cover information. So we're going to use less than um, than um, operation in this um, filtering algorithm. So we're gonna filter cloud coverage less than, um, so cloud cover is stored in percentage. So the percentage of um, cloud contaminated um, uh, total pixels within, within an image. So for example, if it's 100%, you know, that entire image is cloud contaminated. If it's 5%, 95% um, of the, the image is clean or um, cloud free and 5% of it is cloud contaminated. So just to give you an idea of 
what that percentage is. Um, so this is gonna filter the image collection by cloud cover, and it's gonna give me only um, Sentinel images that have less than 20% cloud contamination. This is gonna filter by my region of interest. The other uh, filter that I'm applying is a filter dead. Um, sorry, it has to be small. Um, so I'll use filter dead or uh, built-in algorithm. So filter dead uh, requires uh, start time and end time for that um, time filter. So I'm gonna provide the year. Um, the months and the date in a text um, text uh, data type, and I'll do the same, but I'll just change 2022. Oh, sorry, there's a typo here. Uh, and the same, so about six months of data from January to Ju Ju June, um, June 1st. Uh, I don't have to close that state um, statement. Uh, here because I'm still doing some um, filtering. The next one is Sentinel has multiple bands. So in this case, uh, I'll only select um, the specific bands that I am um, interested. So to have a list of bands, I'll create a, a bracket, a square bracket, and then provide the name of the bands that I'm interested to use. Band four. And then I'll also need band three and then band two. So I'm going to do um, a true color composite, um, red, uh, green, blue. And the last one is a median. I'll need uh, um, compositing or aggregation. Um, and I'll use a median statistics. So what this gives me is if I have 10 image, uh, for each pixel location, it will give me the median pixel value for all of the 10 images. So I'll have, instead of multiple images, I'll have one single image with the median value uh, of those um, um, image within that, that uh, filtered um, image collection. All right, so this is good. Um, and one other thing we want to do is just let's do rescaling. Usually, um, the satellite data, mostly per, uh, satellite products, come was uh, st stored as integers. This is to save, um, you know, storage space. Uh, that makes sense. But before we use it, we need to apply that scale factor. So in this case, we're going to divide the, you know, integer data type here by 1,000. So I'll grab here. I'll pass the data set here, and then divide. This is given, the scale factor is given in the data product, so you can go ahead and refer that to 10,000. So it will rescale the data um, to, um, it will change it to a floating point technically. Now the last part is actually, let's do the clipping operation, um, uh, the subsetting operation, right? So we'll use the rescaled image here and then, um, clip so that's the main um, uh, function that does clipping or subsetting uh, usually in um, we, we use extract by mask or something like that in a standard GIS or clipping uh, so we're gonna provide ROI region of interest so we haven't yet provided our uh, region of interest so let's create a region of interest using um, a drawing tool on the earth engine API so I say, as uh, mentioned earlier um, uh, at the start, we're gonna use Paris as an example. So let's just search that Paris and then click that. So it's gonna take us uh, to this area. So I'm gonna create some, you know, a box um, over Paris. Uh, that way I'm gonna use this to clip my image, right? So let's just um, click this draw rectangle uh, and then kind of drag here uh, around Paris and here just and that and this will create a box we're gonna rename this um, geometry feature to ROI and that way we're gonna use it so when you do that it automatically creates that region of interest here I renamed it ROI so that's what we're doing here 
in the filter bounds as well as the clipping fun um, uh, function. So we're gonna call this region of interest to do that. Um, so last thing, let's just display our uh, maps. So add layer and first let's do the version that's not clipped, right? So let's do the rescaled version and and then let's call it raw sentinel image, right? Okay. And let's also do the same with the clipped version. So instead of the rescaled, I'll use this clipped image. All right. Okay, instead I'll na name it clipped. So this is the clipped version. Um, and I'll just uh, adjust the zoom level by applying center object ROI about 12. Okay, one thing we have uh, we still need is let's create a visualization parameter uh, to um, visualize to create a true color composite using the different band span for three and two. So let's create a vis param. Um, and then let's just uh, create a curly bracket to store the dictionary of bands that we need bands say so we'll store the different bands here uh, b4 band 4 uh, b3 uh, band 3 and then band 2 All right so this is gonna store the you know different bands that we're gonna use and also the minimum value is 0 and a maximum value is 0 0.4 um, and close our JavaScript statement. So when we ex, what we have now so far is just um, region of interest. We have not executed our code. So it's gonna filter, apply all of these filters and divide it to rescale and clip it uh, with the region of interest and create a visualization parameter and display the image. The first one will display the raw image and the second one will display the clipped image. Let's go ahead and execute our um, Earth Engine code. There's some typo here. So what is that? Let's figure out what's going on here. Map at layer. Oh, okay. So we haven't uh, we haven't provided the visualization parameter. That's why if you don't have a visualization parameter, usually you just um, leave um, um, you get this curly bracket. Uh, otherwise, you have to uh, have a visualization parameter. Um, so we'll copy here our visualization parameter. And that should solve the problem here. I'll also do the same. So what this provides is that when we um, execute the display, it has you know different band combination and um, uh, min-max value. It will execute that properly. Hopefully, this will uh, resolve when we execute this time. Excellent. So we don't see that issue anymore. So let's zoom out a little bit. So, so this is our region of interest we used to clip this image, right? So, what we have is using the filter bound, we have the entire Sentinel scene, right? And um, so, once we apply the clip, um, let's just remove that our steady area so this is Paris right so the raw sentinel image is uh, covering the including the entire you know Paris but also the you know outskirts suburbs of Paris big so that's the scene the sentinel scene what we did is just used clip so when you open the clipped image you just only have um, uh, using our region of interest here you just only have the clipped part so here you go so that's how you can um, convert an entire image or scene and use a region of interest and then clip it to your, your study site. In this case, we've used Paris as an example.